What are some of the common triggers for melasma? UV sources, visible light sources, heat, hormones, and even some autoimmune disorders. But something that is not commonly thought of as a trigger for melasma is sunglasses. The incorrect pair could be making your melasma worse. In today's video, I'm going to give six tips about sunglasses when it comes to managing melasma. Please keep watching. Welcome to Invest in Your Face. If you are new here, this is a channel dedicated to topics related to melasma. Hi, I'm Amy, I have melasma, and if you're interested in topics to help manage your melasma, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, and check out some of my previous videos. Today's video is about sunglasses with managing melasma in mind, but of course, Wearing sunglasses helps to minimize the risks associated with harmful UV rays that could lead to eye conditions and ailments in the future. Also helps to reduce the risks of skin cancer and premature aging for the skin around your eyes and eyelids. So let's get right into tip number one, which is the biggest one for melasma, do not wear metal sunglasses. This includes metal on the frames or rims, the bridge, the pad arms that hold the nose pads and the temples or arms. And it all has to do with minimizing potential heat. Heat can trigger melasma by causing vasodilation. And you may not be aware, but even the metal on your glasses can bring additional heat to your face when the metal is exposed to the sun or left in a hot car. Vasodilation often occurs in areas affected by melasma and additional heat can lead to inflammation, stimulating melanocyte pigment production. Tip number two, only choose sunglasses that specifically state that the lenses block 99 to 100% UV radiation or offer UV absorption up to 400 nanometers. Now you will commonly see a removable sticker label on the lens that reads 99 to 100% UV protection or UV 400, or sometimes there is also a tag, so look for it. Now if you're questioning the UV protection of your sunglasses, it can be tested at some optical shops using a photometer, and this only takes a few seconds and usually at no charge. So the main job of sunglasses is to protect the eyes and around the eyes from the sun's harmful UV rays. And when it comes to managing melasma, sunglasses and lenses can cover or protect the areas of melasma that you may have on the uh, brow area, the bridge of the nose, the temples, and the upper cheek areas. Tip number three, the color of the lens does not matter. It's completely a personal preference. Now, darker is not going to provide more UV protection. Remember, UV radiation is not visible light. Also, polarized lenses will improve visibility to reduce glare, which is desirable when doing things like fishing or skiing, but that too has nothing to do with protection from UV radiation. Tip number four, Wear your sunglasses, but don't rely on sunglasses alone. And this is so important to keep in mind with all your sun avoidance and protective measures. With the sunglasses, regardless of shape and size, UV radiation can still come in from the tops, the sides, and underneath. So be sure to add additional sun protective and avoidance measures, such as wide brim hats, gaiters, and of course, sunscreen. Sunscreen is a given, but it too is not a one and done formula for managing melasma. You have to combine your sun protection efforts and you may be able to relate to this, um, but since the pandemic and even now with the loosening of some mask restrictions, it is less of a thing for me to feel self-conscious about wearing a UPF gaiter or face mask when I'm outdoors. As an example, just last week, I was riding bikes with my family and I had on my bike helmet, it has a little built-in visor. I was wearing my sunglasses. I had a gaiter pulled up over my nose and of course, I'm wearing sunscreen, water resistant. Yeah, I had it all going on. Tip number five, choose a frame shape that maximizes coverage. Bigger is better to cover and protect more of your face. I like this pair. It goes straight across so that there is protection for the area between the brows. Now, I don't have melasma here, but I can get some hyperpigmentation in this area. Another frame shape to look for that can offer more coverage is the uh, wraparound style. Now, one other thing to always look for is 
wide temples or arms, again, to maximize coverage. Now, I've seen some really super nice, fashionable, large frames, but then they end up being a hard no when the arms are skinny, skinny, and do not provide any coverage on the sides of the face, or they are made of metal, or have cutouts, or worse, metal cutouts. Tip number six, you do not need to break the bank when purchasing sunglasses. More expensive does not mean better protection. You can spend as much or as little as you want. The important thing is to look for the manufacturer's 100% UVA, UVB protection label or tag and the things I talked about in terms of shape and size. Now you may find that perfect large frame, wide arm protective pair at TJ Maxx or a higher end uh, premium designer pair at Nordstrom. Now I love these and I purchased them from, wait for it, Walmart. Less than $13 by a brand called Super Awesome 106 Meta Brand. It came with a 100% satisfaction guarantee. I love this dark blue color, something a little different from my usual black frames and it comes in three other color options, one being black. Uh, also a tortoise and a really cute light pink color. It is made with 100% UV 400 premium polycarbonate lenses and it has those nice wide temples that I'm looking for. I don't know if you can see it. it, has a really pretty design in there. I also love this pair that I recently purchased that I showed in the video previously uh, from Quay, Australia, relatively speaking, also reasonably priced at $65 and less if you take the time to sign up for their email mailing list for 10% off. Now this is the tortoise frame with a smoky gradient lens that provides 100% UVA, UVB protection. It also comes in a black frame with a gradient smoky to green lens. And it comes in this nice case that includes a cleaning cloth. But I will say, some of the premium designer sunglasses I saw online have some amazing looking frames with all the desirable features I mentioned, like these by Celine at $460. Look at that top um, flat part of the frame and those beautiful wide arms. Needless to say, not in my spending comfort zone, but if it's in yours, I say yay you. And another thing I will say about price, most likely a pair of non-prescription sunglasses will have that UV protection added by a coating on the surface of the lens. Now this will wear off over time. Better quality, specifically prescription strength sunglasses, will likely have that UV film embedded in the lens. So it will not change over time. But for me, I'll just share with you, I'm likely to lose or drop and scratch a pair of regular over-the-counter sunglasses well before any uh, UV protection <laughs> diminishes, so I'm not too uh, concerned about that. But certainly, if you require vision correction and you don't wear contact lenses, prescription sunglasses are the way to go and be sure to choose a pair with managing your melasma. In mind. Whether your sunglasses shield your eyes from the sun to make a fashion statement or protect the health of your eyes, reduce the signs of aging and risks of skin cancer around your eyes and eyelids, the proper pair of sunglasses can also play a big role in helping you to better manage your melasma. I will link these sunglasses below. I hope my tips are beneficial for you to help you find that perfect pair to add to your list of ways to manage your melasma and to maximize the benefits of your current melasma treatments. If so, please hit the like button and share this video with anyone who may benefit. It helps to grow my channel. I want to thank Jaya for the suggestion of this video topic. If you have a topic suggestion, I would love to hear from you. Wishing you all good health and thank you for taking the time to invest in your face. Bye.